Number three. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Excellent kick. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He makes his way out to about the 35. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. A pickup of five. The receiver got good separation and ran a very nice route to the outside of the field. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Black Knights have been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Second and ten. Let's go! They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Third and long now after the sack. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Oh, excellent punt. From the 15, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike eight. He's taken down at the 34. The delay gave the back some room to run, and he was able to pick up about nine yards. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. it out to about the 37 yard line first down pick up by the tailback you can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arm three yard gain by the running back you won't break or bend this linebacker he won't miss that tackle too often From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Ready! Here comes the pressure. Slides down. 
three, maybe four yards on the scramble. Ball on the 46. Gets out to around the 32. Pick up. They get four yards on the halfback option. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let's go! Gets it again, and this one's going nowhere. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, brought down at the 31. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll bring up fourth and nine. North Texas is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he got it. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter, or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 3 0, North Texas. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. North Texas is up a field goal. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down at about the 49. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Scramble. And they push him out at about the 39-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. He's got an opening. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. From the 32-yard line, first down. 
the offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set and the defense counters with their dime look and he tackles him hard at the 20 yard line he made a really good move at the line of scrimmage sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play in the shotgun and five wide out he was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry that brings up second and third. From the 23-yard line, second down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. They bring their quarterback down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. He steps up, he heaves it to the end zone. He brings it down, touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So that's a seven play, 61 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 45. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Got the corner. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. That's a deep one. That brings up second and one. They get nice yardage on that run. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Ready! He's at the 30, gets out to around the 28. First down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. That brings up second and one. Running! Army just took their first time out. The quarterback kept it for himself and got the first down. I'll tell you what, you got to be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. You take so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. And they make the stop at the 14. Two yards there on the option keeper. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to try and scramble. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Second and ten. 
Ball on their own 14. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He steps out around the 39-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Ready. Black Black. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. North Texas is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's scrambling. It's a fumble. It's the running back who picks it up. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. He's on the run. And he's level at the 44. And they get stopped after a short game. Yeah, the quarterback better get these guys to the line of scrimmage and hurry up. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 42. Scrambling around. The ball pops free. Scoops it up. They bring him down in the backfield. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Don't get nervous. Here's the... No, they snap it to the up back. They'll bring him down at the 36. We played a half of football. The mean green in front, 10-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally, That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and giving up big plays. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you're doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Texas is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. A 
up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. On the ground with the tailback. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. That's good for the two yards. That makes it second and eight. Easy, easy, easy. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Tries to buy some time. And he has it on the corner. He's tackled in the open field. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. North Texas is up a score. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 39. And he throws right away. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 39. Nearly intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He airs it out. That close to being intercepted, and that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields it at the 17. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. his way to about the 32. Call the game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Easy, 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 easy. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Mike 35. Easy, easy, easy. 
field after a decent pickup. That brings him second in five. They'll get him for a loss, so they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. It's third and seven. Ball on the 43. Quick strike, and he drops it. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They're set to go for another round. North Texas up seven points. Gets out to around the 32. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. down at the 41. And down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 44. He scrambled. A five-yard quarterback scramble. Gonna try and scramble. Tackle made around the 45 yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. North Texas is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 29. This is the eighth play of this drive. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 10-3, North Texas. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Hey, check back, check back, five, six, five, six. Right on. That's a great tackle at the 26 yard line. That's good for three yards. That makes it second and six. From the 26 yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's brought down in the open field. Number 23 makes the tackle at the 22-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. 
He makes it to the 15-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings us We're at the 12th play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 13-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. And here's another third down. North Texas is up seven. They bring him down. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Kicks away, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Texas defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Goes out to the back, and it's through his hands. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle at the 45-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. He's scrambling. He'll take it himself. Decides to slide. That'll make it second and four. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's at the 40. And they make the stop around the 19-yard line. First down. They failed out here the last two times. And that sets them up for the first and goal. Number 35 brings him down at the seven-yard line. That, that makes it first and goal. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Game of six on the play. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Black Knights. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. <laughs> Army's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. Just under two to go in the game. 
and he's immediately tackled. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike 35, Mike 35. Now he's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. That makes it second and 10. throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third and long here. For the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. He gets it up, and it's good! The Black Knights and their coaching staff have got to be all smiles over there on the sideline. All their preparation has come to fruition. How nice is it for a coaching staff to see a plan come together? They had an outstanding plan throughout the game, but at the biggest moment, they found a way to get their go-to guy to football the most, and he was able to deliver. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time in a defensive bat. Right, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they could even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Under a minute left in the game. to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled right around midfield. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Aaron and out long. We're going to overtime. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Oh, here we go. Oh. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike 6, Mike 6. Ready! Black 90! Put hard! <laughs> Caught in a big hit, he's stopped in his tracks. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. tries to buy some time they've been all over this quarterback today the pass protection has got to do a better job but give this defense some credit they've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and it cause him some problems let's go black 55 hot hot black 55. <laughs> Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Red 18! Red 18! 
motion now. He scrambled. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. It can be advantageous to have the ball second in overtime, but only if you can make a stop. Now that they gave up the score, they're playing from behind with a ton of pressure on it. And he tacks on the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down. quickly and he's got his man what a play and that is first and goal i'll tell you what this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback they're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football easy, 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 easy. it really wasn't badly played by the defense but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you that brings him second and goal That brings up a second and goal. Four yards out. Defense stacked in tight here. Let's go! And he's tackled at the one-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. We'll be tied with the extra point, and he adds the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and ten. Ball on the 25. 35 is the mic. You got nothing today. Caught open field, brought down the five yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Hey, watch the slant. Mike 35, Mike 35. Run, run. Just throws this one away. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. He zips it. This one is over. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, North Texas 26, Army 23. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.